ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. Santa's getting ready for his big day. He's excited about seeing everyone. And I'm sorry that we can't do everything like we used to every year, but we're gonna adapt this year and Santa's gonna read you a story. And for all the good little boys and girls out there, I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. This is the night before Christmas. It's one of Santa's favorites. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that that St. Nick soon would be there. Children were all nestled, all snug in their bed, while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. And mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, torn open the shutters and threw open the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave lush of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. When a little driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cubit and Donard and Blitz. Top of the porch to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. When dry leaves before and wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle's mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with sled full of toys and old St. Nick too. And then when the twinkle I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and turning around, down the chimney, St. Nick came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opened his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His dull little mouth was drawn up like a bow and his beard on his chin was white as snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a reef. He had a broad face and a round little belly. He shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, went straight to work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose 
and gave a nod. Up the chimney he arose. He sprang to his sled, to his team he gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas.